Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Hello everybody, welcome to McConnell's Mill State Park. We're about 45 minutes north of Pittsburgh here, right off of Interstate 79 in Butler County in the town of Portersville. You may be familiar with Moraine State Park, which is McConnell's Mill's neighbor, and it's a very popular summer destination anyway for swimming, boating, camping, you name it. Anyway, this is a wonderful little park nestled around the banks of the Slippery Rock Creek and the gorge around here as well. It's a beautiful little area and it's a beautiful fall morning. The breeze is a little on the warm side which is nice because it's not too cold out and the sun is just starting to rise. As a matter of fact when I got here it was so early that it was still dark out and I had to wait for it to get daylight before I could begin the video. Um, as you know, Kayla often works at 6 a.m., and when I drop her off at work and it's a Saturday, I don't have anything to do, so I go out and try to hit up the state parks on our side of Pennsylvania. But anyway, we're out here at McConnell's Mill. This is a wonderful little park. I've been coming here since I was a little kid. My dad loved this park a lot, and actually later on I'll share with you guys a photo of him sitting at the old uh, dam and the mill which is right down that hill back there behind that playground anyway and by behind I mean way back there but anyway we're here and uh, I got my Pennsylvania State Parks passport book and here is McConnell's mill right here and as a matter of fact we actually have to go to Moraine State Park to get the stamp for McConnell's Mill State Park. But anyway, let me tell you a little bit about this place. The highlight is rock climbing. You'll see as we drive down towards the dam and back up the hill again that you drive through some really large boulders. You drive between them anyway. They hug the road and some of them even hang up over the road, which is kind of crazy and scary in a way, but they've never collapsed as many times as I've been under them. And I'll show you that as we drive around. But these rocks are huge. They're, I mean, they're monstrous in size. They're bigger than houses, but you'll see what I mean. But anyway, this park is nestled amidst striking scenery in the deep gorge of the Slippery Rock Creek and is a national natural landmark. Tour the restored rolling grist mill or the covered bridge. Yes, there's a covered bridge, and I'll show that to you as well. There is also scenic hiking, whitewater boating, and two rock climbing and rappelling areas. Now, it is a really nice little park. I can't complain about it. It's very handicap friendly as well. You'll see down by the uh, mill and the dam that there's handicap parking and ramps to enjoy the dam and the waterfall. Right here where I'm at is the Kildu picnic area. They have plenty of parking. They even have a charging port for electric cars. And these picnic tables that I'm sitting at, a handful of them are handicap friendly as well where the side of the table sticks out with no bench under it so somebody in a wheelchair can pull up alongside there and there are restrooms right by and as you can see behind me we have that little playground there are a few picnic areas here now this isn't necessarily the park for camping but that's what moraine state park is for not too far away there's even a baseball field here, and you'll see that there's plenty of trails throughout the park here as well. We'll, we'll take a hike on a couple of them anyway, so I can show you uh, some neat areas along the water. You can even fish down here if you want to as well. Slippery Rock Creek is known for some good fishing. Anyway, what am I doing sitting here talking to you about the park? Let me get up and show you around this beautiful place. Yeah, that's the baseball field over there. Big parking lot here. We even have a couple of other visitors that showed up already this early in the morning. I thought I'd be the only person. <laughs> but anyway, you can see all the leaves falling now. It's a great little park. I just love the sound of the crunching leaves, though. And here are those picnic tables I was telling you about where they stick out on the end so somebody in a wheelchair can sit next to the table and enjoy a meal. They even have uh, charcoal grills here as well. There's one there. There's one over there. 
They even have a covered pavilion. And there's actually a couple of trails right down here that take you down to the old mill. That's where the people were heading down, was down that way. Anyway, we're going to make our way back to the car because I want to take you along the road where the big boulders cover this place and show you around. First, how about that? The colors of that tree are awesome. All right, we're at the entrance to the park, and I thought I'd take you for a little ride along this road here. It's very wooded, but with the colors coming in on the trees, it's pretty beautiful. takes us back to the picnic area where I just did my intro from. As you can see, it's a pretty wide open space here. Anyway, let's take a ride down here. This takes you down to the dam and the mill. The sun is just beginning to rise over the hillsides. I was telling you about. There's one that hangs over the road. And as a matter of fact, before I even show you the covered bridge and the old mill, I'm actually going to go straight and take you back up the hill where we navigate through the huge boulders, including a massive one that sticks over the road. the mill on my left. We'll see that in just a few minutes. Also on the left is a trail that takes you along Slippery Rock Creek. It's a fun little trail. I've walked it many times. This 
is a one-way road as well, so you don't have to worry about any oncoming traffic. It's very narrow, therefore the speed limit is 15. But when you're enjoying a park, fly speed anyway. Anyway, here we go through the boulders here. sticks over the road right here. I pray I'm not under that if and when that ever comes down. takes you to the parking lot where I started the driving tour. And you'll see here just as soon as I turn the car around here to the right. Here's where we started. Anyway, now I'll take you down to the grist mill and covered bridge. Okay, now we're down here at the grist mill, the dam, and behind me is the covered bridge. I'll show you that in just a moment. Well, let's take a look at this here. At the old mill, they have a couple of picnic tables. You can enjoy a meal. It's very easy to get to right here. Handicap parking right there. I had to park up the hill some because there's no spaces available here. There is a trail over there, and then there's one on the other side as well of the covered bridge. Anyway, we'll take a walk down here real quick. There's a bench down here you can sit. If you really want to, you could go down here on the rocks, walk around. Just got to be careful. It could be slippery, especially when they're all wet. If you really want to, this is a good area for whitewater boating. They have information up here to read before you go out on the water. Also, phone service right here is very weak, especially for me with uh, T-Mobile, or should I say T-Maybe. Maybe I'll have a signal, maybe I won't. But in the event of an emergency, they do have a phone right there over that wall to call 911. So they do keep that in mind so nobody has a bad day. You're here to enjoy the park. That's the information I was telling you about. I'll we'll take a walk down here. There's some people taking pictures down there, so I don't want to get in their way, but I do want to get a good shot of the mill and the dam. Now here's a pretty good money shot, I think. I came down this little trail here and where the people were taking photos. You can come down here, you just gotta be very careful. 
these leaves and any water on these rocks can make them extremely slippery. So just be careful if you come down here. I'm standing all the way down on this one right by the water's edge. And it's actually really cool. It sets up for a pretty nice scene of not just the dam, the mill, but the bridge behind me. Now that I showed you the area from down here, I'm actually going to go up to that little lookout right there. That's where my dad uh, took one of his last photos here. My mom took that picture of him and, uh, well, I kind of want to recreate it. Yep, there's the phone I was telling you about. Then over here is information. They have park maps in here. more information on this side and yeah I had to park here there was no place to park down there but anyway here is the mill you can actually tour the inside of this when it's open obviously at 8 in the morning it's not going to be open but normally when it is they do tours it's pretty cool I've only been in there once but it's pretty cool in there over here is a little spring. When I was a kid, I would actually play in there. <laughs> I wouldn't do that now, though. Not that the water's dirty, but... I would play in there sometimes when I was really young. And they even had this. This used to be a functioning water fountain many years ago. Obviously, it's not anymore. But I always liked this little thing. And when it rains really good through here, and this fills all the way up, it does drain, but sometimes it's overpowering, and it comes over top of this and pours down onto the road. I've seen that numerous times. But anyway, let's work our way over to that little lookout and show you the dam from this side. Oh, look at the, uh, I think that's a pigeon sitting up there. <laughs> pigeon friend. Enjoying a Saturday morning. As a matter of fact, water is coming out right here. I think that's actually meant to drain that way from there. And then it just goes down along the side of the road and it eventually makes its way into the creek. By the way, too, there are restrooms up there if you need them. Anyway, enough procrastinating. Let's go down here. Got the water going through that little channel. This is the dam gate here. There's a look upstream. And those things in the water straight ahead there, if you're in the water at all, they put those there so you don't go too far and go over the dam which is right down here.
there's another look upstream. It's amazing how calm the water is here. I can't even imagine how deep it is. I'll tell you, that really hit me in the feels to recreate that photo. That was one of the last photos of my dad. My mom took that photo. They didn't have a tripod, so they couldn't get it together. They had several, though, over the years, hundreds. But I, he always liked this park. He always liked sitting there. So that meant a lot to me to be able to do that photo in that same spot. And when I'm filming this as well, here in mid-October, I hate to say it, I, I can't even believe it, but we're approaching six years since he passed away. He passed away on October 27th, 2016, and here it is, October 15th, 2022, when I'm here doing this video, so. I don't know, maybe it's just fitting. But... That meant a lot to me. I hope you like those photos. Now we're here at the covered bridge, right next to the grist mill and dam. I remember when they rehabbed this bridge. It is a single lane bridge, no uh, openings on either side. But, if I remember, oh yeah, you really can't. I thought you used to be able to see the water through there. But that's okay. And here we are on the other side. The mill is back there. How about that shot from right up here on the roadway? Speed limit right here is five miles per hour because of the blind turn going into the bridge. Goes right up the hill. It's a two-way street here. And there's a trail down here. It takes you to a little waterfall. I'll take you down there and check it out. And they have these life-saving rings here. They're located along the creek here on these trails in case you were to fall in the water or you get yourself in an emergency. Just like at Ohio Pile State Park, it's a good thing to have. a small airplane. This trail is marked with blue and yellow paint. Like the little rock steps. Good cardio. <laughs> We're up pretty high now. The water's way down there. 
Now we're approaching Kildu Falls. This was the waterfall I was telling you about back there. There's another one of those life preserver, or life rings anyway. Dirty. <laughs> but it's there for a reason. I wonder how close I can get down to the waterfall. It doesn't look like it's very easy access down there, unfortunately. Because the trail's way up here. But at least we did it. It was a good little hike. Very rocky terrain. I'll see if I could get down here somewhere. It looks like the trail goes back down to the water's edge here. So hopefully... Actually looks like a little makeshift trail was made here. Word of advice, if you do come down here, watch your step. Be very careful. It is very slippery coming down these rocks, especially this big one right here. There's moss on these rocks. They're wet. Very slippery, so just be very careful. But we're down here. I'm just trying to get to a clearing on the other side of this tree. <laughs> and then we can see the waterfall up close and personal. Well, we did it. The waterfall might not be huge, but we did it. We're down by the water's edge. There it is. And there's another little one right there. And then you can see the dam way in the background. Pretty cool that we did it. And it's very nice down here because there's absolutely nobody down here except me. Oh, I take that back. I hear people. <laughs> Waterfalls are flowing. If I zoom in, you can see that waterfall behind this one in the foreground. You see that one in the middle of the screen, and then just above that one is the dam. It's really beautiful down here. All right, well, I guess it's time to head back. I got to head over to the car, which is all the way by the bridge, and head over to Moraine State Park to get my stamp. So, whew, we got a little bit of a way to go back now. <laughs> all right, that was a heck of a hike back. But now we've made it over here to, I believe this is the Eckhart Bridge. It's one of them. And uh, it's closed to vehicles, but pedestrians are allowed to check it out. It is a dead-end road, but that's okay. Let's check this bridge out. It looks pretty cool. That's the bridge. That's the bridge there. There's also a trail that goes down to the water. I can hear what sounds like a waterfall. This is very old. I hear the water right below us. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a big drop. Ooh. That'll make you weak in the knees. <laughs> that's way down there. Let's see what it looks like on this side here. Oof. Wow. Yeah, we're really high up. That's really cool. They closed this off, I guess. I don't know if that used to be a trail. Doesn't look like it. Oh, no, no. If you go down that, you're going to have a bad, bad, bad day. That drops down at least 15 feet from that rock. Probably more than that. Heck no. I ain't going down there. <laughs> This trail continues on. It goes all the way up the hill there. I got my hiking in for today, though. <laughs> There's a trail that goes down there, too. Looks a little steep. Wow. That's really cool down there.
That's as close as I can get to the bridge. Give it one more look down here. I give my camera the death grip every time. Beautiful out here. Now let's go check out the other bridge. I guess I can continue down that way to get to it. There's another little drive for you as we go down this hill. Very bumpy. Oh, that's a big pothole. Yep, here is the said bridge. We're at the Breakneck Falls Trail. Look how calm this water is. What a view on a beautiful fall morning. You can go right along the creek bank here, and you can actually fish here. These are stocked waters with trout. Here's the other side. Gorgeous. You know, I wonder why that was called Breakneck Falls. Based on that other bridge we were on when we were looking down, if you fall, I would imagine, yeah, you're probably going to break your neck. Probably more than that. But anyway. They have this wonderful little trail that goes down towards the creek bank, and they also have another one back there. You see the steps right there. It says the police stay on the trail. Now, I do imagine you can, oh yeah, yeah, you can go right down these steps right here, down to the uh, bottom by the creek there and go fishing. Very good. Anyway, I'm just about out of time for today. I have to go and get Kayla from work here shortly. But before I leave, obviously we have to stop by Moraine State Park so I can get my stamp for my passport book. While we didn't get to see everything in the park, like Hell's Hollow, it's a really cool little area. They have waterfalls there. They have waterfalls throughout this park anyway. But it's a great little place, great for hiking, great for fishing. You can do some biking, not a whole lot. Great for uh, sightseeing too. There are scenic vistas around. And uh, it's, it's generally a very nice park, and it's right next door to Moraine State Park, which is where I'm heading, just a few minutes away from each other. And if you're ever in this area, definitely check it out. If you ever go to Moraine State Park, do yourself the favor and go over here to McConnell's Mill Estate as well. It's uh, not far at all. And you're just outside of Portersville where they have some small shops. There's a gas station, a Dollar General, so they'll have pretty much what you need for you know, a picnic or a day out, or if you need some first aid, as a matter of fact. And uh, 
you're just north of Cranberry Township. You're not far from Slippery Rock itself, anyway, where my aunt and uncle have a camp. It's a really great place. I love it. But anyway, we're going to go get our stamp, and then we'll head on out. All right, here is the Moraine State Park Park Office, where we will get our stamp for McConnell's Mill. We'll get the one for Moraine State Park at another time when we go back and do the uh, video for this park. We might possibly do it later today, uh, right after I get Kayla. Okay, well, we got our stamp for McConnell's Mill State Park right in there. And the lady uh, was really nice. She went right ahead and put the stamp in there for Moraine State Park as well. So we have to come back and do Moraine State Park here very shortly. But like I said, we might very well do it today while we're out here. So Because I know we were talking about coming back up this way. And, well, who knows? It's a perfect fall day to do this kind of stuff. Couldn't ask for better weather, so we'll definitely have to make a trip up here for that. That we're not going to have too many nice weekends left to do this kind of thing. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video at McConnell's Mill. Stay tuned for Moraine State Park. We'll do that video next. And, well, till next time, everybody, take care, stay awesome, and on Kayla's behalf, have a McConnell's Mill's delicious day. I guess. <laughs> that works. Thank you.